we have this new video from the Pentagon to show you. The U.S. says that this shows Iranian forces removing an unexploded mine from a tanker in the Gulf of Oman. Defense officials believe Iranians were trying to get rid of evidence here. Now, this incident comes at a time of escalating tensions between the U.S. and Iran. Adding support for the U.S. claims, the United Kingdom now says it has no doubts over the validity of this video. I want to go first to CNN's Michelle Kaczynski with this new video released, which the Pentagon seems to suggest the Iranians were behind the attack on these tankers. Yeah, we're also seeing a much different tack now from the last time this happened, only weeks ago when other ships were attacked in the Persian Gulf. The administration was very reluctant to even say that Iran was suspected. It was more than a week later and the Secretary of State was saying maybe Iran was behind it. Now, though, we see them get out there immediately, publicly, definitively saying this was Iran and here's some evidence. This dramatic new video released overnight shows a small boat approaching the Kokuka Courageous tanker. You can see an individual removing an object from the tanker's hull. U.S. military officials say that object is likely an unexploded mine removed by Iranians just hours after the initial explosion. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo accusing Iran of carrying out the attacks, using the video as his evidence. Iran is lashing out because the regime wants our successful maximum pressure campaign lifted. U.S. defense officials believe Iran recovered the device to remove any evidence of their involvement in the attack. The military also releasing this photo of the ship's hull that they say shows the damage from one explosion and the likely unexploded mine. The Japanese-owned ship was one of two tankers attacked in the Gulf of Oman Thursday as Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe visited Iran in an attempt to calm tensions between Tehran and Washington. Iran has denied involvement. Iranian Foreign Minister Javad Zarif saying in a tweet, quote, suspicious doesn't even begin to describe what likely transpired this morning. The Secretary of State firing back. Foreign Minister Zarif may think this is funny but no one else in the world does. The Japanese are coordinating with the United States and investigating the attack on its tanker, but at this point are not blaming Iran. The incident in the Gulf of Oman follows months of escalation in the region. In May, National Security Advisor John Bolton accused Iran of executing an attack on four oil tankers in the United Emirates' port of Fujaira. An international investigation said a state actor was likely to blame. And that same month, the U.S. deployed the USS Abraham Lincoln to the region to combat other threats from Iran. And over the last few weeks, the Trump administration has faced some criticism and questions over what proof is there really that Iran was behind several incidents. So now they put out some evidence. Is that to head off that criticism? Is it to justify potentially whatever the U.S. response will be? Uh, we don't know, but we did see the Secretary of State yesterday meeting with the acting Secretary of Defense at the Pentagon. Also this morning, we're just hearing from a senior diplomatic source of a U.S. ally who says that they believe that Iran, is, it is a virtual certainty that Iran was behind this latest attack and that the video nails it. John? All right, Michelle Kaczynski, please, again, stand by. Let us know what more your sources are telling you this morning. I want to bring in CNN White House correspondent Abby Phillip, also Caitlin Collins, a White House correspondent, and Susan Glasser, staff writer for The New Yorker and CNN Global Affairs Analyst. we got a lot of news breaking this morning. We're going to try to get to all of it. Susan, I want to start with this new video we're just trying to analyze now, released overnight, which Pentagon officials say shows the Iranians removing this mine from this vessel as some kind of cover-up. Let me ask you this. Does this, in your mind, prove the Iranians were behind it? And why would they do this? Well, look, this is a pretty uh, compelling evidence offered by the United States. I think it's interesting if you start to see uh, U.S. allies as well weighing in and saying that they find it to be convincing evidence. Iran uh, is the likeliest suspect in this situation. It also it carries echoes of previous rounds of tension, uh, uh, ratcheting up uh, threats to tankers going through the Straits of Hormuz, one of the riskiest global flashpoints. Uh, you know, that there is uh, in the sense that it's a bottleneck. Uh, these tankers are often sitting ducks. We, you know, hearken back to the 1980s and the, and the tanker war. There's already talk that perhaps we should have U.S. warships escorting tankers uh, through the Straits in order to head off a future round of this. But pulling back, the question is, 
where are we going with this? Let's let's take the uh, administration's claim at face value that the Iranians are responsible. I guess my question is, what's next? What's going to follow as a result of this? The administration has talked, you saw Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, about the success of what it calls its maximum pressure campaign. But the question is success toward what? The United States has pulled out of the Iran nuclear deal. It's ratcheted up sanctions. It sought once again to isolate Iran. If this is the Iranian response, I think it's greatly increased the risks of uh, military conflict and war on both sides. 